Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, Rocky Harden slash Big <laughs> Boris Kojo. Shit, hold on. He is a tall one. <laughs> I, I love that. I love that. So flip. Show it loaded for the people in the back. I'm going to knock your <laughs> block off. <laughs> bigger fan of Instagram and I used it mostly for liking, a little sliding. You will know what that means. He's the happiest guy I know, for sure. Celebrity Crash, Janae Aiko. Mm, Janae Aiko is one of the most beautiful ladies to ever grace this earth. Um, how much can you bench press? I'm more a cardio guy. Janae Aiko listening. Mm. If Janae Aiko is listening, I'll say 500. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jace is fantastic. You know? I think Jace, Jason Holder has has established himself as a good leader of men. Yeah, he's a funny guy. A clown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a clown. He's a proper clown. He's always singing. He's always keeping noise. He has the most corniest jokes ever. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a funny guy. Like. I mean, he can't be serious, but he, most of the time he takes everything for a joke. He takes most things for a joke. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's annoying too. <laughs> <laughs> Defend yourself. <laughs> man, those are the sweetest words I've ever heard from any individual, but I must give what you have. <laughs> I only got one way to live life, man, and I live it with no remorse, no grudges, no excess baggage, man. I just live a happy life, man. Yeah, it was a day to remember, man. I left Bristol, drove to London. We got changed and we had this function at Buckingham Palace and we met the Queen there. We were all aligned. I was stand, stand up in a line and she came down and I was the last person. Save, save the best for last? Yeah, definitely the best for last, you know, it, it's not my... <laughs> Anyways, yeah, she, <laughs> she was coming down the line and more or less, most of the players were a little taller than her or close to her height, you know, and she was just there, there, there. And when she got to me, she just, like, she just looked up and she said, oh, he is a tall one. <laughs> you look back on a, on a day like that and for me, you know, I, I don't know if, how many people could boast to meeting the Queen. You just understand how privileged you are. Whoa, that was my first, well, my second tour of West Indies, that's in Australia. We landed in Australia and I just said, well, hello ladies, I'm here. <laughs> uh, I am here. Who spends the most time on their appearance? Keon Rocky Harden. Harden. Mmm, interesting. Yeah, yeah, he's a pretty boy. Oh, shoot, sure, I forgot. Oh, baby, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keon Rocky Harden slash Big <laughs> Boris Kojo. Shea Hope, <laughs> for sure. I, I know, I thought Shea Hope and Jason Holder would be the two candidates for number one. So Rocky nah, would be doing well to challenge. Nah, I just natural, but these fellas is trying real hard, man. You're a natural beauty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Don't need no makeup to be a cutie, man. <laughs> I, if a movie or a biopic was made about you, what would it be called? He's a monster. He's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> don't kill me, don't kill me. <laughs> I asked my dad to get me a West Indies jersey and he told me he was he was he was never gonna buy me one because in a few years I'm gonna have my own. I still have it at home to this day. I mean any cutest picture, but good story. I have my own my own gym set up at home, so that's what I use to keep myself in shape. You got no you got no no weights though. You got no barbell nor anything because chest still looking flat. I I no no no, no. I, I, I put some weight. <laughs> in. Yeah, but not that Liverpool jersey be on a hanger. <laughs> I'm not really a big fan of social media. I don't really post much. I probably post a picture like every six months. Only when Liverpool do well. Yeah, every six months about that. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be doing things slightly differently. We have England cricket legend Graham Swan, and he'll be asking me the questions. The legend bit, I don't agree with that, but I love that line. <laughs> we're, we're, we're professionals. 
we're not going to cuss anyway. Yeah. But if we did, if you had to pick a noise to get in there instead of your cuss, what would it be? And you can't have the sound of the crowd screaming as you hit Ben Stokes for six. That's off the cards. That would be my first choice. Um, <laughs> plan B. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just a man. <laughs> That or oh, prayer as long as a cuss free area. Oh. <laughs> you are far too educated for the England changing room. You're running in trying to <laughs> ball fast and just seeing somebody at the end holding a flared fish in the hand and you're thinking I'm gonna knock your block <laughs> off. I'm gonna knock your <laughs> block off. I know you missed the teeth. I ain't getting on no plane. I ain't getting on no plane. <laughs> oh wow, I can't believe that someone's even written down this question. Which teammate would you let date your sister? None. None, exactly. Unless I was there with a shotgun next to him. And I, I don't even have a sister. I'll never forget, actually, I've got to tell you a quick story. I know I'm interviewing you, but to, to sort of highlight how stupid some of the England players were. And I, before I say this, Tim Bresnan, I love you to pieces, and you know this story. Disclaimer. He's not the brightest player. The Yorkshire lads didn't tend to be that bright when I played. And when we played in an Ashes Test match at Melbourne, in the second inning, Brezzy bowling, beautiful reverse swing, Ricky Pontin, shouldered arms, thudded him, straight in the middle of the pad, big misjudgment, absolutely plum LBW, and he's given out. And we're all happy, but it's Ricky Pontin, it's the Ashes. He's got a call for this. He's got to go third umpire. So he has a look, and we're all looking at the big screen, and it's the old system, you know, impact outside the line. He stood there like this. Brezzy honestly turned around and went, oh no, it's hit him outside line. <laughs> and we went, Brez, he's, he's not playing a shot, mate, it doesn't matter. And Brez is like, no, they, they've, they've cocked it up, he's not out, it's hit him outside line. <laughs> we've, got to re- we've got to call him back. This is bad, we're going to get murdered in press for this. He didn't know, one of England's opening bowlers did not know the <laughs> LBW law. It was wonderful. <laughs> no. You can imagine the rest of the team. Jimmy Anderson was there Oh my God, if you had this, Yorkshire, Yorkshire don't even know LBW rules. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs>